a Philly dude. And speaking of Philly dudes, Danny Garcia is going up against Errol Smith. How you see that fight going? Uh, I see Danny knock out. Yeah? yeah Danny knock out. I think, it's, I think a little too much he's good on. He had that H1. He, he had that fight off the accident like that. Uh, I ain't let him out. Because you don't really know how your body going yet. Like, and I understand all you chasing greatness. And if you pull it off, hey, that's, that's more for him. And congratulations. But I just think it's keep his time a little more. Yeah. You feel like they rushing him along, or do you feel like it's, it's no, him like, rushing? I think that's his decision. That's like, I think that's his decision. But I like that in the fight. That's good. That's what I fight the most against. Now, what is, what is a like? You had a layoff. What does it feel like when you first get that that them first couple rounds of sparring? You know, rushed. Like like when you take a layoff, especially a long one, like. It don't come back the same right away. I don't care who you is, unless you was in the gym. And I was training outside, sparring in front of my house. My house was actually got footage to and everything. But it just don't come back the same right away. It takes time. And then like, gain weight, because you ain't in the gym. You got to get that weight down. It just take time. You got to stay consistent for it to click. And once it click, oh, all right, then you back rolling. Have you ever sparred Danny or Spence? I never sparred Spence, I sparred Danny. I got caught to sparring Spence, I think, once, but I ain't go. Okay. How, how did the sparring go with Danny? Oh, good one. Good one. Everybody keeps talking about that, um, you know, Spence is the bigger, the bigger puncher. I don't think so. I don't listen, I'm going to explain this. You fought Mikey Garcia. He's 35. I don't care if you wasn't trying to knock him out, you, hit him, you threw over a thousand punches. And then he fight Mikey Garcia, he's gonna knock him the fuck out. <laughs> the difference in the punch, that's the word. Danny is a real puncher at 47. I think Earl got respectful power and he punched great to the body. He put his body probably more than anybody in the weight class, probably besides me. Now, did, did you spar Danny at 140 or when he's at 147? 47. 47? I sparred him, I think, last year. Could you, could you really feel the power? Yeah, I mean, I got a good chin, but I move my head. I don't even get hit that much. Like, it was great work. Like, we both was, it was good work. Now, uh, Spence uh, fought Porter before this. Mm -hmm. And I heard Keith Thurman say mm -hmm. that Danny hits harder than Porter. You sparred both. Yeah, Danny so who harder than Porter. Danny harder than Porter. I got, I got it. You co sign that? Yeah, I co sign that. Like, then he got, it, it's, a, it's a different type of punch. It's like a thud, like, poof. And it's gonna make me, oh shit. Like, and that's why I think Earl should, mm, should take his time on that one. Like, you try to be great. Hey, that's what you mean. I mean, be great, you gotta do things like that. Take risks. We saw Porter have success against, um, Earl. I mean, against Earl. Earl. Who would you say um, is a better style against the, the type of fighter Spence is? Uh, Danny. Like, the Porter really, once he get going, he's going. He ain't as hard to slow down. He's going to come forward. And that's his best asset, really. Like, he's coming forward because he's in great shape. And he's going to run be nonstop. Like, his will and it, like, that's Porter's, like, one of his, and he can box. You know what I mean? He ain't just a banger. I mean, he can box it, really. But I just think Danny, an all around better fighter, even though he lost to him. I just feel that Danny, all around better fighter. He just had a bad night that night.